Beruchim habayim ladik duk dakot. This video is about the construct chain. A construct chain is two or more nouns consecutively in a sentence. When you have uh, multiple nouns together, uh, they often indicate a possessive relationship and we translate them by adding of in between the nouns. A construct chain can be either definite or indefinite. If the construct chain is definite, then we translate every word in the chain with the definite article uh, or a proper noun. If the construct chain is indefinite, all the words in the chain will be indefinite. What is it that makes a noun definite? Uh, you may remember that there are three things that make a noun uh, definite. One is the definite article, uh, the he, patach, and dagish in the next uh, letter. Another is if it has a suffix, it's definite. And if it's a proper noun, it's definite. Now, a construct chain is definite if the last word in the chain is definite. So if the last word in the chain is definite, then all the words in the chain will be definite. The same is true for indefinite. If the last word is indefinite, the whole chain is indefinite. Uh, the words, the last word in the construct chain is in its absolute form. The other words in the chain are seen in construct form. And to review the construct forms, you can see chapter 19 and also a little bit more detail in chapter 5. So let's translate some of these construct chains. So, Elohe Hashemaim. Elohe Hashemaim. These are both nouns, so this is a construct chain. Elohe is in construct form. Uh, it's the construct form of Elohim. So the name is absent and there's a tsere. And the last word of the chain is definite, ha shamaim. So this chain would be translated, the God of the heavens. The second one, Ruach Elohim, spirit and God together, it becomes a construct chain. And because Elohim is a proper noun, it's a definite uh, construct chain. So the translation would be the spirit of God. So notice how we're adding the of so that we get the, the possessive uh, feel to the sentence. Uh, mahalach yom, mahalach yom. The yom doesn't have a definite article. Uh, it doesn't have a suffix and it's not a proper noun. So this is an indefinite construct chain, which we would translate a walk of a day from uh, the third chapter of Jonah. Uh, there can be more than two nouns in a construct chain. Uh, all the nouns that are consecutive are part of the chain. So here we have Sar, Tzava, Melech, Aram. All nouns, Captain, Army, King, and Aram. Aram is a proper noun, so we know that this chain is definite. Therefore, the translation would be uh, the captain of the army of the king of Aram. Uh, and one more situation that doesn't necessarily look like a construct chain, but if you have a noun uh, with a suffix on it, that also is a construct chain. Uh, so beitecha, house of you. Uh, you know that often when there's a suffix, we'll, we'll use of. Here's the, um, 
here's the construct chain right here. So it's definite because this is a suffix. So this would be the house of you or your house. That's the construct chain. Lach le shalom.